up, guys. Look. This is Lemon Shark. Even though they live in groups, it turns out there is a dark side that has become a habit for lemon sharks, namely cannibalism. Sadly, the targets for cannibalism of adult lemon sharks are lemon sharks from small to juvenile sizes. The behavior of adult lemon sharks which often kill smaller lemon sharks. This is a hermit crab. Fine hairs can protect snails from injuries, scratches, or irritations as they move around their environment. Fine hairs help snails sense changes in temperature, humidity, or the presence of predators around them. Fine hairs can absorb moisture from the air, helping snails maintain their body's moisture. Well, this is octopus. Octopuses typically hunt for food at night. They use their long, flexible arms to search for prey on the ocean floor, including crabs, shrimp, fish, and other small mollusks. Octopuses also employ camouflage and their ability to climb to stealthily approach prey before swiftly capturing it with their strong beaks. There is a puffer fish. Puffer fish that have white spots apparently have a unique habit of building nests. Male pufferfish make round nests in the sand. Their goal in building a nest is to attract the attention of females. Usually, if female fish are impressed, they will lay their eggs in the nest. Wow, this is starfish. Starfish survive through several methods, including regeneration, sexual reproduction, and the ability to change the color of their bodies. They also utilize their bumpy exoskeletons to protect themselves from predators and move using a water vascular system called the ambulacral system. This is blue whale. In the 1900s, there was a massive blue whale hunt. Records show about 380,000 blue whales were caught. The aim of hunting blue whales is to extract fish oil which comes from the fat of these giant mammals. Blue whale oil is widely used in oil lamps and to make soap and margarine. This is Gurnard fish. Gurnard fish have several ways to defend themselves from predators, including the ability to hide among rocks or marine vegetation, as well as using the color and patterns of their bodies to blend in with their surroundings to deceive predators. They can also use their spiny dorsal fins to threaten predators or escape quickly when threatened. Wow, this is catfish. To breed catfish, you can create a spawning pond suitable for their reproduction needs. Ensure that the pond has optimal environmental conditions, such as stable water temperature, sufficient light access, and clean water conditions. You also need to provide adequate and healthy food for the catfish to thrive. This is a shark! Sharks are important predators that can maintain the balance of the marine ecosystem. Unfortunately, many sharks are hunted and traded without paying attention to their sustainability. Besides being able to damage the balance of the marine ecosystem, Wow, this is koi fish guys. Although koi fish are generally brightly colored, certain color variations can help them blend into their environment, especially if the pond has a dark colored bottom or lots of aquatic plants. Koi fish have the ability to recognize danger and hide in safer places such as among aquatic plants, under rocks, or other pond structures. Koi often swim in groups, making it harder for predators to target individual fish. Subscribe guys! Well guys, look over there! There is a jellyfish! 
Jellyfish have luminous organs that emit light or are known as bioluminescent. Bioluminescence is the body's ability to produce light. This light is green and blue. Crystal jellyfish are a type of jellyfish that have bioluminescent abilities. This light is a chemical reaction of proteins produced by the jellyfish's body with seawater. This is squid. Squid are a group of large cephalopod animals, including one of the animals in the invertebrate group, not having backbones. Cephalopod in Greek means head foot, this is because the legs are separated into a number of arms that encircle the head. This is turtle guys. Some species of turtles are land turtles, which can be found in various land habitats including forests, grasslands, and deserts. Examples include the Galapagos tortoises and other land tortoises. Many turtles are protected in national parks, wildlife reserves, and conservation areas. These places serve to protect endangered species from poaching and habitat loss. This is a dugong. Dugongs, also known as sea cows, are marine mammals that primarily feed on seagrass. They use their distinctive tusks, which resemble incisors, to tear seagrass from the seabed or from coral reefs. Dugongs typically feed by chewing seagrass with vertical movements. They usually spend most of their time feeding. This is Mosasaurus. Even though it is quite long and heavy, who would have thought that Mosasaurus was included in the group of dinosaurs with slender bodies? Moreover, because its body shape is quite slender, Mosasaurus can swim very agile and also quite fast. Subscribe guys! Look what this is guys! There is lobster! Lobsters have a hard exoskeleton, or shell, that does not grow with them. To grow, they undergo a process called molting, where they shed their old shell and form a new, larger shell. During the skin changing process, lobsters are at their most vulnerable phase to attack by predators. There is spotted eagle ray. The spotted eagle ray has a flat disc shape, with a blue or black color with white spots on top and a white lower body, and a distinctive deep snout like a duck's beak. The tail is longer than other rays and may have two to six venomous spines. The pectoral. Guys, this is penguin. There are many interesting things about penguins. For example, they are birds that cannot fly but are excellent swimmers. They also live in large groups called colonies to protect themselves from predators and maintain warmth. Penguins also have a unique way of raising their offspring, with males and females taking turns to care for their eggs and chicks. This is Dolphin. Dolphins are very social creatures. Dolphins often move around in groups of around 2 to 30 dolphins. In groups, they benefit each other to protect themselves from attacks by predators and hunting. Some dolphins even move in groups of hundreds of members, especially during mating season or where there is an abundance of food. This is mouth bass. Large mouth bass, Micropterus samoids, is an aquatic fish. They are a popular sport fish but can become invasive when introduced to new lakes and rivers. They are apex predators that primarily eat fish, but also eat insects, crustaceans. Thank you for watching guys.